Now I made a video like a week ago talking about the documentation that I was adding to this starter kit I'm working on and I was using Nextra before and unfortunately Nextra didn't seem like it played well with the app router. You actually had to like create a pages directory still and then bring in a bunch of that code and it just felt like it just wasn't fully supported with the new Next 14 stuff. And also I had like a mono repo where I had a packages directory and I had a docs folder and a web folder with turbo repo. And I felt like the complexity of a starter kit should be simple. And I kept adding more things onto it to make it more complex. And I decided to prune that all back. And instead I refactored the documentation to instead use something called Fuma docs or Fuma docs. I don't know how to pronounce that. But again, this is an MIT license open source documentation um, framework slash library for Next.js. And I find it a lot better than Nextra because it's very like, just follow these steps, add it to your app router, and everything just works. So there's a cool template here that I kind of base the work off of. But for the most part, it's pretty straightforward. I can kind of walk you through the documentation if you're too lazy to read it yourself. But you install a couple of Nextra packages. You go into your Next config here, and you basically import this Next Docs MDX configuration and then you wrap all your next configs with this and that kind of enables your next application to work with you know code highlighting and some other things out of the box it's pretty nice in fact let me just show you my project let me not show uh, that project i'm using a fuma docs mdx which i think has a little bit more support than the other one but anyway you just wrap your next config with it and then the second thing you have to do is you create an mdx components where you can kind of create how your markdown components will work like you can customize like what a, a title will look like or an H2 or an H3, I believe. But I'm just going to use all the default components. Now, I would say the thing I like the most about this documentation library is that it's kind of, it has support for the app router. So if I go over here, I have a docs page. So right here, there's docs. And there is a layout that you basically copy and paste some code from their documentation to get that going. And then you have this slug that you can kind of generate metadata per page and do various stuff. But that all kind of loads from a source.ts file. And this tells the library like where you're going to load the docs from. In our case, we are actually going to load it from content slash docs. So let's, let's go to the actual cool stuff. This is all the setup. I mean, the documentation explains how to do this. But the important thing is now you can actually write your documentation over here using these MDX files. So if I were to make a new file over here, I'll just make, make a new one called like hello.mdx. You can go ahead and add some metadata. So like you do these little blocks up here, the title could be like, hello, description could be some um, test page. And then you have access to just do your normal markdown. So I could say, I want an H1 that says, hello world. And then I want some, uh, some bullet point lists. Okay. Um, can you do check boxes? Let's see, testing. You can also do code. So I think you do three marks like this, three back ticks. And I can say like console.log. And then over here I can say, TypeScript. So let's test this out. So once you make this hello MDX file, if you go back to your documentation, notice I have an API docs here, you click it, and that's built into like my actual layout, right? So you see, I still have my group finder header here, but now there's an actual like sub layout that renders out all my documentation. And the cool thing is now we see hello over here, hello world popped up. And there are ways to configure this. Here's the hello uh, file that I created. We have this, you have ability to copy the code directly to your clipboard. So just click on that button that's built in. Awesome. Which you're gonna need for a documentation. I'm not sure why these are kind of messed up the indentation. That's kind of weird. I'll have to go figure out why that's happening. Let me change these to bullet point list and see if that styles correctly. Um, it does, okay, there we go. That's basically, now the cool thing is, um, is you get searching out of the box. So if I were to put something really like esoteric here and say like Pizza Hut, um, and then over here in search, I can actually just say pizza. And then that shows up in my documentation search, which is pretty awesome, right? This is just built in. You can also navigate back in two different pages like this. And I think there's a way to also customize. So if I say meta.json, all right, so they say you can customize the folder name, order the pages and add separators by creating a meta.json in the folder. So if I copy this and I go over here to, I think the root of docs, File names of pages. Hmm. I think you have to actually say like, this is going to be hello. And then I want testing to come next. And then I want index. Maybe is that how you do it. Cool. 
Let me just go here and make sure this should say testing. This will say home page. This will say hello. Okay. Hello, testing home page. So that's how you can kind of manually change the ordering of it. And then if you were to go ahead and make a new folder here, so like, um, I don't know, deployment. Again, you can make another file here. I'll say index.mdx. Go ahead and copy that, save it, and you'll see that it automatically... Actually, that didn't seem like it worked. So let's go and understand this. Again, I'm still learning this, but I figured, hey, I might as well share it with you all if you guys are interested in learning too. So how do you do nested things? How do you do nested pages? Let's go to a folder. It says you can use folders to organize multiple pages. The uppercase name of the folder will be used as the display name. By default, pages are sorted with string.local compare. Um, with index MDX file always ordered at the top. Well, I don't know what's going on there, buddy. I can't uh, get the docs to work. I wonder if I actually need to go here and say deployment. If that's my folder. There we go. Okay, I figured it out. I'm a little slow, but I figured it out. So because I made a custom pages here, I think if I actually deleted this, that would have automatically found that deployments and it did. But now the ordering is not how I want it, right? So I have to add that back and then you have to put the folder name here. And then there you have it. You can expand that. So pretty cool stuff. And I just want to share that with you all. By the way, if you guys are interested, go check out wdcstarterkit.com. Subscribe to the newsletter. If I get around to finishing this thing, I, it'll be available to purchase. I'm going to make a lot of tutorials and walkthroughs of how you can get this thing deployed to production and maintain it and add features to it. And I think it'd be a really good learning experience for anyone trying to launch their first SaaS product. So definitely go check it out. But more importantly, go check out Fumadocs because I do think it's it's a very capable documentation system. It's really nice. Other than that, have a good day and happy coding.